How to develop a proposal in sociocracy. My name is Jennifer Rao and I'm part of Sociocracy for All. When we have a circle, that is the group of people who work together and therefore makes policy together, imagine there's a problem that they have to react to. If they have policy in place, they might evaluate it and adjust it. But if they generate a proposal from scratch, how does that work? This video shows a helpful format with several distinct steps to generate policy. And you start with picture forming. First, they have to understand what is the issue that we're trying to tackle here and why are we making policy. It is important to get a good understanding so everyone's on the same page. When we make sure that everybody understands first what brought this topic to the group, we will save time in the end. The next step will be to gather all the dimensions. What do we have to consider so we can make good and concise policy? It's like writing your own checklist. What questions do we have to ask ourselves? The facilitator asks what are the dimensions and everybody in the round says what the ideas are about elements or dimensions and we write them down so everybody can see them. In a second you will see a group doing that in one of our trainings where they try to make policy around a presentation that they were planning. So here they are trying to come up with the dimensions. What are the questions that we have to ask ourselves? Are we going to talk about the process that we went through or how things went for us or is it just the time to share our product? Uh, so what do we want people to know about the case studies? Um, should we have an interactive component? Who of us should present? It is useful if the facilitator or somebody else helps distill what the dimensions are and what people bring. So you would say content, visuals, and who to put it together? We will be able to use this list later in the process. And also it's something that unites the group early in the process before you go into different opinions. You will notice when you're coming to an end for this process of picture forming when people start passing. I don't have any dimensions to add, I guess. For me, I'd say everyone pretty much covered um, anything that I thought of in terms of elements. The facilitator is checking whether everything is written down by the secretary. Perfect. Damien, did you get all that? I did, but it was difficult, but I guess I have it. Are we ready to go to the next step? We only want to make that transition when everybody's on the same page. So we're making that decision together and it's a consent decision. Okay, so thumbs up, moving forward, not yet. Okay, okay thumbs up, all right. The next step is proposal shaping. Now we're actually gathering ideas of what we could do. So this is about opinions. We're now doing a round where everybody says, this is what I think we should do. We can break it up into little pieces, and this is our chance to have a collaborative effort. You can see that those puzzle pieces don't necessarily have to fit together yet. They can even contradict each other. That's fine. Just write them down. Maybe share all the information, but just the highlights. And we, um, how it went overall for our whole group, how our group learned and progressed. Okay, so um, I want people to walk away with an understanding of sort of the feeling of our group. Um, also with two to three interesting things that we learned from the case studies. Um, well, except for the, how many they're getting into present? more and more detail, it's, it's moving it's together as a group, person. like a flock of birds flying also, together, going uh, in rounds and rounds as things get more and more clear. Kind of visualizations and one being geography wise so that people can see where in the world. We could do a screen share with some pictures too, with you know, those highlights um, of each case study. When you run out of ideas, you can look at your list of dimensions to see whether you've covered everything and maybe address one of those dimensions there that has not been covered yet. That answers who would present. I believe it would be the people who did their case studies who are talking about that. A good facilitator kind of will check back and see whether what people have them, said is understood by the group and capture it. Uh, your addition is one person versus three people. It sounds like you like Katie's proposal and you're just adding the component of the people presenting be the ones that were. This is a great process to give everybody a chance to bring their ideas to the table so we get all the expertise and experience in. And it takes away the intimidating part of making a proposal. You can do it as a group, everybody a bit, and together you can form a proposal. Now we have to organize those ideas, and that is typically a one-person job. In this example, they actually took a one-minute break in the circle, so one person would have time to write it all down. So I will take a minute to um, put, give a proposal. The author who's writing up the proposal will notice which pieces of the proposal are controversial and which ones are not. Um, it sounds like the only thing that was different among all of us was three people versus one person. 
It is important to push and go to a proposal and not tiptoe around the controversial issues. Just put something into the proposal and people later will be able to consent or object, and then we'll find out. So it is pretty efficient to have one person write up the proposal since we're all able to make good use of everybody's input earlier for dimensions and proposal pieces. Now it is time to make a proposal so we actually make a step forward in our decision making. If we just keep circling around, we're not getting anywhere. The person who writes up the proposal will also check with the list of dimensions and see whether everything was covered. You had your checklist earlier, so now you want to use it again and see whether everything has been addressed and you didn't forget anything in the heat of the moment. The last thing you will do after you have your proposal is go into the consent process, hearing whether there are objections to the proposal that we can use to improve the proposal. But decision making is a different topic and that's it for proposal generating. Bye! Bye! Thank you! Bye!